Okay, so I was browsing the Z4 forum uh, last night and I came across this post of uh, roof buttons. Um, so this guy found them on Amazon, so I had a quick look on Amazon, and there they are. Uh, £20 of shop, mm, bit pricey, but eh, not too bad, I suppose. Nice buttons. The three are available are the PDC, the roof up, and the roof down buttons. Um, so I thought, well, let's make a video and show you the best way of fitting them without breaking anything. Here we go. We need to remove some trim. Open the ashtray to gain access to the gear surround. On a manual, you just pop up the lever and pull it upwards. But for an automatic, uh, pop up the surround trim on this style version like that. From the right hand side, you need to locate the ribbon cable. That's it just there in the image there. A little bit of a closer shot. Each end of the plug, you've got a little push tab. Press on each end of the plug on the tabs and then just pull the plug out of the socket. And then the same as the older style, uh, which you don't need to remove the trim on this one, just pull on the handle straight upwards and that will release it enough to gain access to the rest of the uh, head unit. Right, meanwhile, pop up the trim, the surrounding trim, just use your trim tool all the way around it. There's about four lugs in total. For the manual, just uh, push your gear back into fourth and push the trim back through. Right now, so we've got some plugs to remove. Uh, we've got this one just there, the one on the iDrive there, and the handbrake lever. Now the, uh, the other two are just pull outs. The handbrake one, again, has got the two tabs, one eye over end. Pop these two tabs in, pull it straight out. Now the Molex connector for the ashtray, if you have it, just press the two lugs and open it. And for the switches at the front, a little tab underneath the picture there, and you just ease it out. It's a little bit stiff, it always have been, but unfortunately, uh, you just got to uh, work with that one. Okay, so we're on the bench. So all we need to do is to gain access to the clips at the back here, you need to remove, well, that should be part of the ashtray, but you need to basically get in here. You can get in there, but just removing the ashtray makes it just a little bit easier. So you've got four screws. In my case, I've only got three screws because I seem to have lost one. And your ashtray is out of the way. Put it over safely. Okay, now you need. Okay, I now need to get to these clips here. So, using your plastic tool, just prise it in gently, and with your fingers underneath, just gently push the switch panel up just enough. Now on the front edge. And there you go, switch panels out. Place your trim panel to one side in a safe place. Okay, so now we need to get this silver trim from the front off. So you got little clips, four on that side, and four on that side. Now, I actually find a small screwdriver is a bit better because it's got a little bit more uh, weight behind it. So just gently prise up the clip till it pops and then hold it. Probably hold it better actually with a trim tool there. Okay, and just keep gently popping them up all the way along. So we'll start on this side, Pop, start side with a silver trim on it. It's a little, e little easier to get at because this side's got retainers. You've got a retainer there, there and there and they tend to get in the way a little bit. So once you've got one side up you've got a bit of spring tension to get it out. So and just pop up. Doesn't come up quite as easy as the other side. Should be able to do it without holding it a bit long. There we go. And again on these two is here, send one. Okay. 
and two and it's off okay again put it to one side nice and safe so there's your three switches so what you need to do now is turn it around to the rear and you've got little clips just in there so what we need to do is pop in your screwdriver and just gently prise up the switch cover both sides and that's it it's popped up and then just gently lift it slightly at the back end and slide it towards the front so you're doing so looking at that you're doing it that way lifting it up motion and then sliding it that way slightly and that's it it's popped off okay so now your new cover again you've got these retainers on the front here into the holes with your finger and then just whoop, line up properly and clip on and it's exactly the same for the other two as well but just all exactly the same they just pop up unclip clip your new one back in pushing gently on that front edge and then clipping in place okay now as an aside just in case you take all three buttons off or if you're replacing all three you can't mix them up because as you'll see there is a little light window and they're all specific to where they are so the roof down button on the left the PDC button is in the middle and the roof up button is on the right and so with the lights the actual positions on there as well so that's your PDC because it's in the middle that is your roof up button because it's on the right and that's your roof down button because it's on the left okay so we now need to replace the trim place it over in its right location again working on the silver side first yeah I've got some retainers here as well they're not quite as stiff as the other side so pop these ones in clip them in place there's a bit of fiddling around with your fingers to get these in you may have to just knock that middle one in a little bit more while you push and that one as well okay then working around on the rear side these are a bit tighter so you've got to press on where the clips are at the same time as pushing down with your fingers hold it in place to your centre one click that two in and then towards the end one click that one in and that's it your buttons are replaced well, most of your work is now done. What we've got to do is basically put the thing back together. So I'll show you that part as well. So, go and get your trim panel. Put it back on your cloth. And then line it up. So you got these lumps either side. They go into these ret retainer sections here. So you can line it up a bit better. You also got that slider there goes into that slot there and again this end as well also that one just there so line it all up and just basically press it down and that's it it's straight in get your ashtray put it in place over your screw holes get your screws screw it back down try not to lose these screws because uh, i haven't been able to find any more See if that little plastic guy has come off like mine as mine keeps coming off for some reason place it back on where it belongs so that clips at the base there that trim piece there with the ridges on it is over the electrical connections on here and you've got your clips we go over them as well so line it all up and put it in place there you go that's it. Yours wiring won't look like this. I've played with that, so don't worry about it. Okay, back in the car. Okay, so we're back in the car. We've uh, replaced all the electrical connections, replaced the trim back down in reverse order. We 
make sure it's nicely secured all around. And there you go, there's your nice new switches back where we belong. Looking nice and sharp and uh, hopefully a bit better than they did before. Uh, I've not been able to find any for the heated seats yet. Uh, I'll keep looking and um, hopefully will eventually. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.